I have a dear friend who is about as politically progressive as they come and who is also a devout Catholic. Before he eats meals, he will cross himself. And that is something that I have noticed and which is an obvious difference between him and a non-religious person like me. Or so I thought until the other day when I had to call someone on the phone who I didn't know and I finally got up the courage, I made the call, everything went well, and as I hung up the phone, without even thinking about it, I just went, Ch -ch -ch nerd fighters! And it made me wonder, is Nerdfighteria a religion? Well, what does Nerdfighteria have in common with most religions? We're a community of people with shared values, in our case, thoughtfulness and seeking complexity and truth from the stories we read and the people we meet. We have activities every week, John's videos on Tuesdays, Hank's videos on Fridays, and those videos obviously get archived and can be rewatched, so they function as a sort of textual history. We have icons like puppy-sized elephants, anglerfish, peeps. Do we have hymns? Well, maybe. When I was at the Turtles All the Way Down tour in Chicago, we all sang that song that World War I soldiers used to sing. We're here because we're here because we're here because we're here. And after that event, I kept that song with me. It was in my head a lot and I would sing it when I felt anxious and it would comfort me. And there are things I find in John and Hank's videos that do guide me and inspire me. Like the other day I was re-watching an old Hank Green video where he says, if you fail, I will like you more. And that was really what I needed to hear. And of course there's an annual charity effort. I know my biggest donations in 2017 went to the Project for Awesome. Things Nerdfighteria doesn't have in common with most religions, it's governed a lot more democratically. John and Hank Green like to take their channel where their viewers want them to take it. Zealousness is not rewarded. I remember on the way to the Turtles All the Way Down tour, I was worried that I would feel left out for not knowing every word to Hank Green's songs, but nobody knew every word to the songs. It was fine. And it doesn't present itself as the only community that knows the right way to live your life. But then again, there are plenty of Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, etc who don't think of their religions that way either. I'm leaning towards saying that Nerdfighteria isn't a religion, mainly because it says it's not one. But I think for some of us, it functions the way a church community would if we were religious. What do you think? And why do you think so many people like me, who are non-religious, feel comfortable labeling themselves as nerdfighters? If you are interested in participating in my End of Vita livestream, don't forget to vote down there so I know what times you are available.